The 105th edition of the Powercore Melbourne to Warnable got underway with ideal conditions at Avalon Airport and it didn't take long for the first of the attacks to go off the front. For a long time it was a leading group of two riders with Raf Freinstein in the white colours of Inform and Sam Hill from Nero Continental at one point getting out to a lead of seven minutes. They worked well together until the back end of the race where fatigue started to set in and eventually they were reeled in by the main peloton. As the group was approaching Warnable with 10 kilometres to go, it looked like it might have been set for a big bunch sprint finish, but then the attacks started in earnest once again. Amongst them was one of the pre-race favourites, the sprinter Jensen Plowright, who once they made the left-hand turn onto Raglan Parade, saw his opportunity. Plowright opened up a small gap, and from that moment on, it was destination victory. Plowright going across the finish line to take the win, and in the sprint for the minor placings, it was his teammate Ben Hill was the best of the rest in second position with Liam White in third place. Oh, I was uh, feeling so good at the end there. I was doing attacks all down the road, like in the crosswind sections. May have gone a bit too hard, but then to get a little group off the front, had a couple of boys in there, they ripped some good turns and then went with the K to go, felt ballsy, but I had, I had the power and I was feeling so good. In the women's race, they came together with 10 kilometres remaining and three were in the mix for victory. And making it back-to-back -back wins in the women's race, it was Matilda Reynolds who went across the finish line in third place. It was Justine Barrow and Nicole Frayne in the minor placings. I was actually just so impressed with the other two girls that were with me, Nicole Frayne, Justine Barrow, just amazing positioning all day and great riding. It was great to come in together and, and sprint it out at the end of 270k.